All right, this is a video how you change the, the starter on Nissan Versa 2010. I believe the 11, 12, 9, and 8 will be pretty much the same. I will took some of these plastic parts already. I took it out, but I'll, I'll, I'll put it back in just to show you what to do. These are the plastic things that has to come out. These things right here. You know, these are the air intake. They go in here. So you just pop that out, take that out. And these two, the radiator. You know, that goes right here, right here. You know, take that out too. So it'll give you more room to work on it. Put that to the side. The tools you need, you need 3 8 ratchet, you know. And this is a uh, 18. Um, you're gonna need a bigger ratchet if you, if, you know, if you don't have one or you have a breaker bar, you're gonna need it because the, the bolts are pretty tight. So if you have one of these big ones, just use one of these. And I do have a pipe right here. I use it as a breaker bar sometimes. And you're gonna need this little, the little guy. I mean, you can always put the little, you know, get the little socket and put it in here. This is, uh, what is this? This is, uh, eight. Eight mils. So, you know, you can always put uh, an eight on, on, on the three eight if you want. But I like to use a small one on the, to take the ground off. Because the small one is kind of easy to get it in. Because it's not that much working room in here. So, uh, that, that's it. That's all you need. You, you know, just a couple of tools and that, that's it. Um, you got to remove this top bolt right here. It's between all these wires. It's top bolt right here. This one's got to come out. This one here. This is good because there's only two. It's one up the top. And one at the bottom. Which is this one right here. This one at the bottom. So, um, and I already unplugged the, the, the cable. I took the cable out. Uh, one thing that you gotta do is, with these Nissan cars, uh, if you have a memory saver, you have to use it if you disconnect the battery if you do like i did uh i do have one a memory saver but it's not working anymore i just realized today and you know i'm not going to order one it's going to take like a week or something to get here i can go to autos and buy one but yeah it's kind of i don't want to do it i just want to do this i took it out i'll tape it up a little bit just you know just to be safe and I'm gonna remove the, the, the negative. This is the negative cable. Put that to the side. This is the, the power cable. This is the power and negative. So, as you can see, it's loose. It's ready to come out now. But I just gotta take this bolt out and I'm gonna take the bottom one out. The bottom one's coming out. Okay, this one is out. This bolt right here. It's out. And I just gotta take the top one out. Well, kind of give me a little hard time. But again, you know, take your time. You know. And just, uh. Okay, I think that's pretty loose. Hopefully, come out nice and easy, but it's not. All right, so I got the top bolt out. Okay, it's coming out. There's it right there. Now it's just kind of wiggle it out. It's kind of hard to take it out with one hand. But uh, the, the radiator hose is kind of a little bit on the way, so just got it. There you go. Here it comes. Here it comes out. There's the starter coming out. This is this is a brand new one. I already took 
took the old one out, but this is a brand new. I just want to show you what to do in case you don't know how to do it. And you don't want to go to dealership and pay a lot of money for it. So this is a this is a brand new one. I'm doing it with a brand new one so you see what I'm doing. But um, I went to a dealer, they want too much money for this. So I bought this on AutoZone, $180. Uh, and I did have like $20 on, on points or whatever they call them. And so I'll pay 160 something like that. Dealer wants like almost 300 So I said, no, you know what? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna spend that much money. So now let's put it back in. And okay, when it's right here, it's kind of easy to, put, to hook the wires on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook the wire right here, you know, positive and, and negative. So um, just get the little knot and just. Hard to win with one hand, but it's gotta get done. All right, that's one wire. That's a negative. There you go. Let's just get water away. Okay, this is right there. Okay, the negative wire is on, right here, nice and tight. Just put the, this black cover back on. Okay, just gotta go on. Somehow it's not. Okay. All right, that's in there. So now let's put the other one back on. the original one but so it looks better shape but uh, you know what I'll just use the I'm gonna use the old one let me take this tape back off I put this tape on just in case so it doesn't make any contact because I did not disconnect the battery what I said if you disconnect the battery on Nissan hmm, it's kind of it's not a good idea because then you're gonna have a uh, Check, um, check engine light on or service engine soon because it's, it's got the stupid um, throttle body. Um, you got to relearn or something like that. That's what they say. And that's the that's the thing that is. That's why I said if you have a memory saver, make sure you use that and disconnect the battery. If you don't, do what I did. Just tape it up, take it nice and easy, careful, take your time, and then, so you don't have that problem, the check engine light on for the throttle body. It happened to me before, so that, you know, I, I, don't, I don't want to go through that again. So that's what I said, if you have one, use it. If you don't, just do it nice and easy, take your time, and it'll, it'll, it, it can be done this way too, you know. It's not, it's not that hard to do it. You save a couple dollars too. All right, so this is 13. This is 13 and eight. You know, the little bolt, the little nut, this is 13. So just to put the rubber back on. And it's good to go. Now, now we gotta get it in. Nice and easy. It's going in. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. Right there. That's what's got to be. Now let's put the bottom bolt in it. Okay. 
No, the top one. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking this, this video with my phone. Uh, like I say, if you have better idea or something different, different way to do it, if you think it's a good idea, just let me know. You know, that's. I like to take idea from anybody. It doesn't matter who it is. How old are you? It doesn't matter. As long as it's a good idea, I'll take it. You know, it's easy when you work together. I mean, you have better idea how to do it. Um. But, I mean, it's a simple way to do it. I mean, it's not that hard to do it. I was about to pay a lot of money for this thing at the dealership, but you know what? It's what, 10 minutes? And I'm already done. I mean, I just got to tie the, the bolts up and start it up. Let's see what happens. All right, everything is in. Now we just got to tie this a little bit. <clears throat> nice and tight. There we go. Take the bottom one too. This is the one that's kind of a little hard to do it. Okay. But it, 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 it can be done, you know. It's... hooked up you see everything is back on and I just make sure nothing is, is missing but I don't think it is um, let me put that all this all this stuff back put this all, all this stuff back here we go okay this has got to go Right there, but remember to put the hose back on. There we go, beautiful. Now we just gotta, gotta set this plastic thing. Uh, and you know, plastic clips. And, uh, Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Uh, no, this is my Acura keys. See the keys are inside here. So it's about 13 minutes. So it's not that bad. And let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Start right up. See? That's what I'm talking. And you do it yourself, and you save a lot of money. And you don't need a lot of tools for it. There we go. Engine is running. No problem. Everything is good. I don't see nothing leaking, nothing like that. I mean, I didn't disconnect anything like that, but hey. All right. Thanks for watching. If, you know, it did help you, help someone else. Hey, that's good. If you have any... You know, if you got any better idea or something like that, hey, just let me know and I'll I'll get it. And one thing, I gotta replace that be um, belt tensioner, this automatic belt tensioner. I was gonna make a video for that too, see what happened. I gotta change the transmission oil too. Um, and I'll, I'll make a video and you know, if anybody out there has a better idea how to do it, let me know. I'll be there. Thanks a lot.